Hi students, this is Mrs. Kang. Um, some of the students asked for homework help, so I will be going over numbers 13, 15, and 16 from the fractions QR code activity. And, um, and then we'll see. <laughs> okay, so for dividing fractions such as this one, one third divided by five, six, um, the way we divide fractions is we actually don't divide, we multiply by the reciprocal, meaning we, we flip the second fraction. Now the shortcut that we used was a um, KCF, where K stands for keep, keep the first fraction as it is, one third, change the division to multiplication, and then you flip the second fraction. So really, if you think about it, KCF is same as multiplying by the reciprocal, okay? Now, at this point, you have an option. You can just multiply across. So let me just solve it that way first. So one times six is six, and three times five is 15. And then simplify this fraction. So a common factor that goes into six and 15 is three. So 6 divided by 3, you get 2. 15 divided by 3, you get 5. So the answer is 2 fifths. Those of you that remember cross-canceling, you can also cross-simplify. So if you were to do that, then um, a com you need to think about a number on the numerator and another number on the denominator. Um, if it has a common factor, you can simplify in the problem before you multiply across. So if you look at 3 and 6, you have a common factor, which is 3. So if you simplify by 3, you get 1 here and 2 here. 3 divided by 3 is 1, 6 divided by 3 is 2. Then you can multiply across. 1 times 2 is 2, and 1 times 5 is 5. So you get the same answer. <laughs> Number 15. Now, same concept, you have a fraction division, but one of the numbers is a, a mixed number. And you cannot have a mixed number when you're multiplying or dividing fractions. So what you need to do is you need to turn this into an improper fraction. What I taught you guys was either circle times plus or around the world, they both mean the same thing. Your denominator stays the same, and then you multiply your denominator with the whole number, and then you add that number to your numerator, and that will be your new numerator. So let's rewrite the problem first. I'm gonna rewrite it right here. So like I said, denominator stays the same, so it's two. Your new numerator is going to be 2 times 3, which is 6, plus 1, so 7. And I'm not going to do anything but just copy down the rest of the problem. Divided by 1 7. At this point, I want to do KCF. Keep, change, flip. So keep the first fraction, change the division to multiplication, and flip the next fraction. If you think about cross reducing or cross canceling, there's nothing you can cross cancel. So you just multiply across. So seven times seven is 49. Two times one is two. But I don't want my answer to be left as an improper fraction. So I'm going to do in and out to write it as a mixed number. So 49 in, two out. 2 goes into 4 2 times, bring down the 9, 2 goes into 9 4 times, which is 8, your remainder is 1. Now if you remember, what that means is this is your whole number, this is your numerator, and this is your denominator. So I always showed going this way. So your final answer is 24 and 1 half. And that will be your answer. <clears throat> okay. 
um, last one, number 16. Um, just like the previous one, I but this time I have two mixed numbers, so I have to turn both of them into improper fractions. So I'm going to do my around the world, multiply and add, and I will do the same thing here. I'm going to rewrite that problem right here. So the first fraction denominator stays the same, so 3. My new numerator, 3 times 2 is 6. 6 plus 2 is 8. So you have 8 thirds divided by second fraction. My denominator stays the same. 6 times 1 is 6. 6 plus 1, 7. Now I'm going to write KCF. So keep the first fraction, change the division to multiplication, and flip the second fraction. Um, so you have an option. You can multiply across. So what that means is you'll get 8 times 6 is 48. 3 times 7 is 21. And then you can simplify from there. Or you can cross cancel first. Because I see this 3 and 6. You can cross cancel by 3. So you get 1 and 2. And then multiply across so that you will work with smaller numbers. So this time, let me do that. So 8 times 2 is 16. And 1 times 7 is 7. I'm going to do in and out. 16 in, 7 out. 7 goes into 1 zero times. 7 goes into 16 two times, which is 14. And you get a remainder 2. So then what that means is you get your whole number, numerator, and denominator. So your answer is 2 and 2 seventh. <clears throat> okay. Um, for today's homework, you have numbers 17 through 24. And these are all word problems. I'm going to do number 17, and then I'm going to see if I can go over some of the other problems, not solving the others, but just going over how to set up your problem, okay? So a number 17, it says, Megan spent three-fourths of her allowance at the mall and half of those on AirPods. What part of her allowance was spent on AirPods? What you need to realize is this. So basically, Megan spent, I'm going to write it in a, a word phrase. Megan spent half of um, her allowance. So let's just write allowance. Okay. How do I know she spent half of her allowance? Well, it says half on AirPods half of this amount that she has. So what that means is she spent half of the three-fourths that she has. Now we know that of means to multiply. So really what you're doing is one half times three-fourths. Okay. Now, or if you think about it, she has three-fourths and then um, half of them she's spending on AirPods. So you could think of it and figure out that the other thing that you can do is three-fourths divided by two or two over one. <clears throat> In this case, you would have to do KCF. When you're multiplying fractions, you do not flip anything. You just multiply across. So then if you solve it this way, you get 3 eighths. And then if you do KCF, keep, change, flip, and then multiply across, notice how you still get 3 eighths. You get the same answer. Okay, so the answer is 3 eighths. Um, Okay, talking about number 18 really quickly. It says a cat spends two-thirds 
um, two thirds of her of its life sleeping. If the cat lives to fifteen, how many years does it spend sleeping? So just like the previous problem, what it is is you need to find what is three thirds of fifteen. Okay, I'm sorry, two thirds of fifteen. Okay, fifteen years. So again, the way you're gonna set up the problem is two thirds of means to multiply and 15 years. So you wanna write 15 over one and then you want to solve that problem. I can see that you can simply multiply across and then simplify or you can cross cancel three and 15 by three, get one and five and then multiply across, okay? 19. <clears throat> Painting has the following dimensions, 34 and a half inches by 36 and a half inches. What is the area? So I'm guessing it's a rectangular painting, okay? And it says it is 34 and a half by 36 and a half. And it's asking for the area. Area of a rectangle is length times width. You will always want to start with the formula. I'm going to substitute area equals 34 and a half times 36 and a half. Now, again, I'm not going to solve any more problems, but just so you know, you cannot multiply when you have mixed numbers. You must do circle times plus or around the world on both of them. Rewrite them here and then multiply those numbers. Okay, you cannot use a calculator for this um, this activity. Okay, all right. Number mm, number twenty it says a photo is five and one third inches wide and it's being enlarged. That means it's getting bigger. Um, it's being multiplied. That's what it means to three times its size. What is the new width? It's a very simple setup. You take five and one third. And you're simply multiplying that by three. But again, what do you need to do here? You need to turn this mixed number into an improper fraction by doing around the world. And you also have to write this as an improper fraction by putting it over one. Okay. So denominator stays the same, three, and then 15 plus one, so 16 times. And then do not just write whole number three, you need to write three over one, and then you multiply them. Next setup, number 21, um, neighborhood garden is two thirds of an acre. Um, that is two thirds of an acre is going to be divided into four equal size sections Find the size of one section. So basically what you have is this. You have, you have two thirds of an acre. So two thirds is the amount that you have. And they want to divide it into four equal sections. What is the size of just one section? So you take what you have, two thirds, and you're going to divide by four or four over one. Remember to do KCF. Okay, 22. Um, piece of licorice is going to be cut into 10 equal size pieces. If the length of the licorice is two thirds yards, how long will each piece be? It is the same idea. But one common mistake students make is students look at this problem and automatically write 10 divided by 2 thirds. That is not the case. Okay. If you think about how much you have, what you have is you have 2 thirds yards of licorice. You want to cut that into 10 equal sizes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, and you want to see how long will each piece be. You want to see how long this piece is. So you take two thirds and you're going to divide it by 
10 pieces or 10 over 1. Don't forget to do KCF. Number 23. Ben cuts a pumpkin roll into slices that are 3 8 inches thick. If the pumpkin roll is 10 and a half inches long, how many slices can be cut? Same idea as number 22. Please do not do 3 8 divided by 10 and a half. The pumpkin roll that you have is 10 and a half. You want to um, uh, cut, the, uh, cut them into slices that are 3 8 inches thick. So you want to and you want to see how many slices can be cut. So you want to take 10 and a half, divide them by 3 8. Don't forget to do around the world. And then don't forget to do KCF when you, once you get here. Okay, last one. Box of pretzel snack packs uh, weighs 28 and a half ounces. If each pack weighs four and three fourths ounces, how many packs are there in the box? So you have 28 and a half ounces. And then um, if you divide this by four and three fourths ounces, so you divide them into four and three fourths um, ounce packs, how many packs will you end up with? So again, step one, you're gonna have to do around the world for both of these mixed numbers. Once you do that, you're going to then do KCF to solve, okay? All right, so I basically went over all of um, some of yesterday's homework and all of today's homework. So I hope you do a good job, okay? Thank you, bye-bye.